Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, so I've got from Travis McHenry. Oh, I didn't realize that. Travis McHenry. Okay, I didn't even realize he was the creator of this deck. So we've got Egyptian Star Oracle, which comes in the most beautiful box. Absolutely. Whoops. And it's got my, it's got the eye. Okay, so includes 42 guidebooks and the Eye of Horus Amulet. So it's got 42 cards with a guidebook and the Eye of Horus Amulet, which I think is quite cool. Okay, so this is sort of a funny, doesn't look like that should have fit. Oh, yes, it did. It did fit in there. Okay, so there's the guidebook big chunky thing so it's got different languages no no it doesn't oh it's got the deacons and everything as well which is going to be quite good for the deacon study oh it's got quite a lot involved in this how to use the card so I'm gonna to have to really do it's a deck that it's going to take a little bit of reading with of course gold edged Ooh, oh Okay, so let's get rid of that. So it does come in a really nice box, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a lot on it. So the Egyptian Star Oracle. This oracle is not just an Egyptian thing deck. It's an authentic Egyptian oracle that utilizes astrology as it was originally practiced. Oh, this is going to be quite good. Practiced in 2400 BCE. So I didn't really know about it, but I felt drawn to purchase it so this is most probably why at the core of the deck are the 36 deacon of egyptian astrology a group of fixed stars representing celestial deities who exercise power over events on earth unlike the deacons of the western astrology so remember this is the egyptian astrology these are not only regions of the sky but also cosmic forces capable of influencing the world around you the cards are packed with transformative energy that allows the stars to lead you through your daily practice in the included instruction booklet provides ancient rituals as well to help enhance your connection with the stars. Ooh, seasoned tarot readers will find many parallels between the meanings of this deck and the cards of the minor arcana. Ooh, so this is going to be quite interesting to work with. Oh, I'm quite looking forward to that. Yeah, so beautifully done. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. So... I don't want to lose the eye of horror so let's have a look at these cards okay let's start so on the front of the card you have the deity okay or the name of the card it's got a whole lot of symbols and stuff on it it's got one and it's got new beginnings so and it's good then it's got it's what it means so one new beginnings two development and growth Okay, three is change in circumstances. So it's a lot, of, I feel it's got very um, numerological um, aspects to it. Four is construction and building. Yeah, five is accomplishment. Oh, well done. Six is care and nurturing. Yeah. Seven is death and endings. Eight, fertility and sex. Nine is being of service. And ten, truth and justice with 11 being chaos, 12 conflict and war, restraint. Okay, so interesting, interesting to go through. That's the back of the cards. Okay, that's the back of the cards. And let's have a look at the front of the cards here. It has a very propitious, um, propitious um, energy, propitious energy. Oops. Uh, this is going to go really well with the Tower of Cleopatra as well that I've got. I think this will really go really well with the Tower of Cleopatra. So I did not realise this was Travis McHenry's book. So I've got a couple of um, his decks, so it's quite interesting. I've got the Occult and the Angel one, so this is quite interesting. 
have an Egyptian. Feels like there's been a lot of thought gone into it, a lot of energy, a lot of um, create creativity to it. So as you can see, I'm not sort of. Um, I think there's a lot. I think we're going to, have to do some real study with this deck. This is a deck that's going to take a bit of study, a bit of thought. I mean, yes, you can read it straight away with these keywords at the bottom here, but I think to really understand the cards is going to take a little bit of reading so it's going to be interesting to go through so really cool imagery i think it's got that real sort of um ancient egyptian sort of yeah tarot of cleopatra i'll, I'll show it when i do the pairings i'm going to show you my egyptian decks right okay so let's pull out a card for today. What card are we going to reflect on today? I think this is just going to be a card to reflect. Let's have a look. The card that flew out. We have Healing, which is interesting. 21, which is Sori Soret. Sori Soret, Children of the Sheep. Okay, so let's have a look at this. This is 21. Let's have a read and see what it says in the book. the story threat Deacon 21 it is so this says transliteration story serret translation children of the sheep Egyptian name sorry serret Egyptian calendar dates uh, 3 which is Peret 21st to the 30th Deacon group is sheep minerals are carnelian and gold the card meaning healing healing can be a painful process as evidenced by the procedure depicted on the card and the healing indicated in a reading may cause pain at first however the pain will subside, subside and give way to strength and regeneration emotional pain is often slower to recede than physical pain but it's important part of the healing process to acknowledge the existence of emotional hurts that can lie buried deep in your soul the core meaning of this card is that things are going to improve if they have not yet started to do so already. Healing. Immediately follows the sadness of the Siret de Can comes the healing of Sori Siret. The children of the sheep, an eye surgery to remove a cataract, one of the earliest documented medical procedures, is depicted on this card. But healing comes in many forms. Emotional healing is just as important as physical healing and both are frequently necessary. The Steakens week in the Egyptian calendar begins with the festival of Amenhotep Amen one, a pharaoh who was defied after his death in recognition of all the positive works he completed during his reign. An important document created under the auspices of Amenhotep in 1550 BCE was the Ebers Papyrus, a 110-page treatise on medicine that forms the basis for modern knowledge about Egyptian, ancient Egyptian medical procedure uh, practices. Spell 246 from the Pyramid text proclaims that the deceased is a child of the sheep with the power of the sheep deacons. You stand among the god with two horns on your head like two wild bulls, for you are indeed the black ram, son of a black sheep, born of a bright sheep, suckled by four sheep mothers. The ritual, the Sori Seret Deacon presents numerous opportunities for ritual work. As a natural force, it brings the cooling, pleasant north winds that push the harmful southern winds away. It can also calm fighting between religious factions, especially inside a church or temple. For healing rituals, call upon Ammon Hopetep. This card should be used together with Deacon 5, which is act which has actual tomb art depicting the de um, deified pharaoh. For detailed information on how to perform the ritual to invoke this deacon, use the card and refer to the instructions beginning on page 21. 
Okay, so you've got to go back to page 21. Okay, so this must be here. Okay. Rituals to invoke the deacons. Okay, so this is something that I need to do. And I'm not going to read about it. I think this is, I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to share it as yet. This is something that I need to sort of dive into a little bit more and sort of go into a little bit. So then we've got the birth of Osiris, birth of Horus, birth of Seth, birth of Isis, birth of Seth. Oh, yeah. A, B, C, D, and E. Yeah, 360-day Egyptian calendar. Okay, there's a lot for me to learn and discover within this deck. So, interesting anyway. So, let's talk about our own healing at the time. Let's think about... Um, what healing needs to take place, whether that's physical or emotional. What do we need to do? Who do we need to connect with on a level to assist us in this healing? This is something that we may not need, to, that we cannot do alone. This is something that we might need to ask for help, ask for guidance, ask for support, ask for the medical help that we need or the emotional support that we need. I think this is really important that when we're talking about healing, this may not be something that you do alone. So interesting card to think about for us this week when we're talking about healing. Maybe it's time we talk to somebody to get the support that we need to help us with the emotional healing that we're dealing with. Okay, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care. Blessed be.